Okay, getting close, okay? Okay, folks, 30 seconds there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Alan. Okay, camera come through. Here we go, let's do this. How's your luck, Bonnie? It's yeah. great, Rick. Control your hair, control your life. Rick? Uh -huh. well, well, let me see the Barry, can you hear me out there? Now lock up the street, I'm coming out. You got it, Rick. Okay. Frame me up. Signal? Signal good to the towers. All right, stand by. Joey, be a guy. Plug me in and keep me hot. Hey, live from the streets of New York. Turkey, it's bingo time. Coming in 10. Three cameras ready. Show me hard. Light me up. OK, we're going to roll. Coming up to air in five, four, three. Rick Mason's final confession. I'm Rick Mason. Today, as always, live on location, final confession, the first exclusive interview with Dr. Joseph Vinton, child molester, and one of his victims, Scott Fisher. Let's go meet them. Four years ago, Dr. Joseph Vinton, a therapist recognized for his treatment of disturbed children, took Scott Fisher, then 11 years old, to this restaurant. Now, Dr. Vinton sat here with Scott. He bought him ice cream, and he convinced Scott not to say anything about the abuse that he'd committed moments earlier at his Greenwich Village office. But eventually, Scott did tell his mother and Dr. Vinton went to prison. Dr. Vinton, it must be strange for you coming back to this place. I'm not concerned about myself. I'm here to help others. I've committed unspeakable crimes, and while I've served my time in jail, I know it's not enough. Uh, 18 months for the abuse of seven children. Sounds like a cruise. Is that justice? I don't know what justice is. I know what I did was awful. I hurt people. I can't ever live it down. Not in 18 months or in 18 years. Now, you wrote a book in prison about your experiences. Who would you think would want to read it? Certainly not my audience. I didn't face what I'd done until I was in prison. The book's part of my recovery, part of the reason I'm free today, to say I'm sorry. To say he's sorry to two of his victims, Scott Fisher and his mother, Sarah. Now, Scott. This man took you into his care, and he abused you. He's willing to acknowledge that. If I were you, I think I would still be a little angry. I am, but I'm hoping to make a start getting it together. Commercial! Commercial! 